Hey guys, this is Amanda, and welcome to the second installment of Saturday Morning Screencast. I'm super excited about this week's tutorial. We'll be going over specifically three steps to create beautiful, gorgeous black and white edits by hand. Okay, very, very simple to apply, so let's get started. I do want to show you the before and after, kind of the, the black and white effect we'll be getting here. Um, there it is. Okay, so beautiful, gorgeous, moldery, black and white edit. You can really create uh, various different looks with the three steps uh, we'll be going through here. You can just use one, two, uh, kind of mix it up a little bit, but that is the effect specifically we'll be creating today. Okay, um, just to get started, I do want to convert my image to black and white. I'm going to press layer new adjustment layer and black and white you can name the layer um you know whatever you're wanting okay so i've already edited the color version of this image i'm not going to mess with the colors listed here i'm just going to leave that as is um this is really a preference um but uh personally i do always 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 edit my color version first as you can see here, I have all the colors where I want them to be. This is the final edit for this photograph before turning it um, or converting it to black and white. I don't want to change the image itself to black and white. I just wanted uh, a layer mask to sit on top so I can still have my original image, which is what we did there. Um, some photographers choose to convert their image to black and white and then bring the clarity and depth back later on. Um, and here's an example of that. I just converted this image to black and white without editing it first. And now you see there's quite a bit you have to do. If the client wants the photo in color, then you have to go back and, you know, build your way up and uh, edit the photo in color. So I just like to have that all done in one step here. So there we've got our black and white layer uh, adjustment layer added on top of our already edited images image, uh, excuse me, and that's what we'll be starting today. So let's get started and add some um, really, really cool effects to this photograph. So I'm just clicking on the little circle down here in my layers panel. And um, we're going to select gradient map. Okay, I like my darker colors on the left here and lighter on the right. So I'm going to click reverse. There we go. I'm just going to exit out of this uh, properties panel. And now if you click on the eyeball, you can see the before and the after. That really gives a huge pop to your photograph. Um, now I don't want it to be quite so punchy, so I'm going to bring it down to about let's see here, 63, 63%. Excuse me. I like that. Okay, so there's step number one, adding some depth and punch to your photograph. And step number two is also the gradient map, but I'm going to choose to bring some color into the photo. You can do this with various different colors. I'm going to warm it up a little bit uh, and add some orangey brown tones. Um, you can also just really play around with this. You can add some soft pink tones, some green mossy tones and just make sure you bring the opacity down later on but um, for this edit remember I like the um, dark colors on the left so um, this is our white here over on the left I'm just going to double click that little arrow and I'm going to get a dark brown Right around there. Okay, I'm going to move over here and get an orangey color. I like that. So we've got our dark colors on the left, light on the right. I'm going to press OK and exit out of my properties panel. Okay, so obviously that looks horrible, <laughs> but we're going to fix it. So let's go over here to our um, blending modes. And we're going to blend this specific uh, adjustment layer with soft light. 
There we go. Beautiful. That's much, much better. Um, now the color is a bit much for me. Um, so you can bring that down and just have a tiny bit uh, affecting your photo. Just bring that up as high as you feel comfortable with. Um, I like it around 53%. You can see the before and the after. It really brings a lot of warmth and richness to your photograph. Again, you can really play around with the colors. Um, it's, it's just a lot of fun to go through and um, play with all of these different effects here. So our last uh, step that we're going to learn today on creating um, black and white images is levels. Okay, so I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer, and this step is what I use to create um, smoldery matte effects. So we're going to apply a little bit of a matte effect onto this photograph. Okay, I'm going to just stay on the RGB, and I'm going to take the left top slider and bring it in quite a bit here, all the way up to 100. Now again, that looks horrible, <laughs> but we're not quite done yet. I am going to take the bottom left slider and bring it in as well, all the way up to 82% here. And you can really play around with where you want your sliders to end up. I overdid it purposely because I know I want to play around with my opacity and bring it right to where I think it should be. So we have the matte effect on this photograph. It's a bit much. So now I have the freedom to play with my opacity um, and figure out exactly where I want um, this effect to be. I'm going to leave this right around 70%. Okay, so before and after there. And there we go. That is our edit from start to finish on how to create beautiful black and white images by hand. Really quick here, you can easily see how using just one of these will affect your photograph. Here is just black and white. Um, just by using the levels adjustment, you can um, add a beautiful matte effect to your photograph, or you can just add color, or you can use the, the gradient for the pop here. Um, you can use two. Uh, two of the, the first two steps with the gradient, um, you know, there's really, the list goes on. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for tuning in this week and um, just uh, going through this tutorial with me on how to create these black and white images.